rivets in. This one's got a nice, uh, nice thick gunnel wall. Some of them have double, and you've seen on some of Jeff's from Cockatex videos, he touches on the fact that sometimes the rivets don't all the way go, go all the way down. So you just want to make sure that the case. If they don't all the way go down, all you have to do is give it about one pump and then push the rest of the rivet down. Because as you're as you're compressing that rivet, you're going to make room inside there. So just understand, different boats have different gunnels. Some of them have have tube uh, aluminum tube in there, and it's only such so much of a depth. But the fact is that tube's a good thing in, inside a gunnel wall, so don't don't uh, don't stress over the fact that maybe the rivets don't fit right away as you're using them. We've got three different sizes here at Boat and Tackle, so you should be able to help you out. Rivet gun does most of the work. I'm just trying to keep it compressed into that track as much as I can, so just kind of over extenuating it so you see it. And there we go. So now I've got the track down there. That is not going anywhere. Okay, so Ryan here again, Boat and Tackle. So I'm just going to sign off on this last portion of uh, this Trax Tech install on a huge, beautiful brand new Hughes 200 Pro V with an extended transom. And, uh, and I'm just going to go over everything I just did, what I installed, give you a picture of it, and uh, leave you with some comments. So, here we go. So, started off, we put down some nice 48 inch tracks on his gunnels there. He's got nice thick gunnels, so it was perfect. He wanted lots of area to be able to move and put gear on. On this particular one, he's using some rod trees, and he's already got some existing gear as well. Up front, he's got his planer board mast, so we put two tracks on either side, right there, and right there, nice and clean. And I thought I'd go over the tools I used again to do the job. So starting at the end, because I had to drill off a couple of his snaps and whatnot, I brought a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, a smaller screwdriver, a little mini hammer, and, and some cutters. Once I had everything uh, drilled off and clean and done, I used a cleaner just to clean the, the deck off for taping down the deck. You know, painter's tape's always good. Don't, don't mark up a, a deck of a boat without putting painter's tape down. I just happened to grab Gorilla Tape I had it there for just tying the tracks down while I was marking them up. Little drill with a chomper bit just to clean the hole out after I drilled it. Quarter inch drill. I grabbed some every, every extra bits. I'm doing a. I was doing a ton of holes, so I didn't want to risk not having a drill bit that broke or got that uh, worn out. I can't st uh, stress enough how good the vacuum was. Uh, look at all the little bits of uh, aluminum that's in there that I had to vacuum out. So have a vacuum, whether it's a little shop vac or whatever. I'm sure my wife wasn't happy that I stole that one. And then our rivets. So our rivets. Just wanted to point out inch and an eighth, inch and a sixteenth, and one inch. These used to be the standard ones Trax Tech carries. Now now we all carry both. So Boat and Tackle and Trax Tech both carry three sets of rivets now. Um, the gun again, just a standard issue, Princess Auto here in uh, Canada. Uh, I think it was $69 and uh, came with all the bits. I needed a quarter inch bit, that was it. The uh, 3M adhesive, you can now uh, pick that up through uh, Trax Tech or Boat and Tackle, so we, we, we all carry it. Um, Trax Tech has it in their kit and we carry it individually now with all of our rivets. And uh, there we go. Tracks are done. One more thing that I think is super important and that is the end cap. Why I want to point out the end cap is like it comes with an Allen key. We recommend it on all of our orders that you get end caps. Not everybody has end caps but I will tell you I took a call three weeks ago and the guy called me and said, can I get another GT100? <laughs> like, sure. He goes, yeah, I forgot to tighten it down. I don't have end caps. And as I was heading out to the fishing spot, he uh, lost his whole rig. The rod holder, the rod, everything. So that was a costly day for him. So I'm just saying, these are pretty cheap. I think they're 30 bucks. And uh, they're the end caps, right? And, you know, we recommend you put end caps on both sides. But not everybody does that, and you know that's your own personal choice. I do, I do get it. If you put end caps on this end, which the boat's always moving forward, nothing will slide out the back, 
and you can always access moving your gear in and out. So it's whatever you want, but we do recommend at Boat and Tackle that you get end caps. Just to point out, so if you're looking for anything, reach out to Boat and Tackle, www.boatandtackle.ca or 1-800-485-8950 is our phone number. We're here to help you. We'll get you rigged. Thank you.